The oil price crisis has shaken global markets over the past two months since Saudi Arabia sharply increased its oil production following a shouting match with Russian President Vladimir Putin. U.S. President Donald Trump forced Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to cut oil production with a threat to withdraw U.S. forces from the kingdom, Reuters has revealed. According to reports, Trump made a phone call to bin Salman on 2 April and told him that unless Saudi Arabia and Russia came to an agreement with the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries OPEC, to cut oil production and stabilize the market, he would be unable to stop legislation from being passed that would see the withdrawal of U.S. troops from the Gulf country. The source summarized the U.S. threat as effectively telling Saudi Arabia, we are defending your industry while you're destroying ours. A U.S. source who learned of the details from senior officials reported that during Trump's call, which took place 10 days before an agreement was finally made to cut production, Bin Salman was so shocked by the threat that he ordered his aides to leave the room in order to continue the call in private. One week prior to the U.S. president's phone call, the idea was set in motion when Republican Senators Kevin Kramer and Dan Sullivan introduced legislation calling for the withdrawal of forces if Saudi Arabia did not comply with America's demand to cut oil production. The oil price crisis has shaken global markets over the past two months since Saudi Arabia sharply increased its oil production following a shouting match with Russian President Vladimir Putin on the telephone, which resulted in oil prices dropping to as low as $25 per barrel. Prices then plummeted even further in the global market. The industry was affected significantly when the price of U.S. crude dropped below zero to negative numbers. In an interview with Trump in the White House on Wednesday, Reuters asked the president if he had presented to Bin Salman the possibility of the troop withdrawal, to which he replied, I didn't have to tell him. I thought he and President Putin, Vladimir Putin, were very reasonable. They knew they had a problem, and then this happened. Trump did not reveal any details of the threat to the crown prince, but said simply, they were having a hard time making a deal. And I met telephonically with him, and we were able to reach a deal. The revelation of Trump's warning sheds light on the extent to which the 75-year-old strategic alliance between the two states still sways relations, with it used as leverage to force Saudi Arabia's hand. Struck in 1945, when U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt met with Saudi King Abdulaziz ibn Saud on the USS Quincy, the two statesmen agreed that in exchange for access to Saudi oil reserves, the U.S. would provide essential military protection to the young kingdom. The effects of that meeting have lasted until today. There are around 3,000 U.S. troops in Saudi Arabia while the U.S. Navy's Fifth Fleet protects its oil exports in surrounding waters and prevents any external military threats such as that from Iran. Despite the crisis having passed for now, it is predicted that the tension between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia is ongoing. Just yesterday, it was reported that Trump may make the kingdom pay for any losses suffered by the U.S. oil industry due to the crisis. Syrian president addresses several topics at government meeting, full details are on reveals five citizens are currently imprisoned in U.S. over military activities Turkish military launches new attack against Syrian army as Russian forces arrive Hezbollah leader fires back after terrorist designation, says Germany, surrendered to U.S. will, Qatar says rumors about coup in Doha are fabricated behind a Russian vehicle, Syrian children throw rocks at U.S. military, photo Russian radar system discovered near Israel border, media Russia is ready to sell S-400 air defense system to Iraq, ambassador Russia sends 150 armored vehicles to Syria, photo dozens of Syrian mercenaries killed in battle with Libyan army Syrian military switched air defense systems to confront Israeli attacks, Chinese media Syrian army steps up attack in Idlib as reinforcements pour in North Korean defectors under fire for giving false information about Kim Jong-un's health Iraqi forces kill three ISIS leaders in new border Operation Russian Navy trails NATO warships armed with Tomahawk cruise missiles. Home Gulf Gulf U.S. threatens to withdraw military from Saudi Arabia over oil crisis, report by News Desk 2020-04301. Beirut, Lebanon, 9 p.m. According to the Reuters news agency, the United States is putting pressure on Saudi Arabia to cut its oil production, pointing out that U.S. President Donald Trump threatened the Saudis, in the absence of a response, to withdraw military support. 
Citing four sources, the agency said that Trump called Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman on April 2 and told him that if OPEC countries did not start cutting oil production, he would be unable to stop U.S. lawmakers from passing a law to withdraw U.S. forces from the Gulf Kingdom. The agency said that this threat to end a 75-year strategic alliance represented a focal point in the American pressure campaign that led to a prominent global deal to reduce oil supplies, in conjunction with the collapse of demand for it in light of the spread of coronavirus, and was considered a diplomatic victory for the White House. According to the agency, Trump sent his message to the Crown Prince 10 days before the announcement of production cuts, and MBS was surprised by the threat that he ordered his aides to leave the room so that he could continue the discussion separately. A senior U.S. official told the agency that the administration informed Saudi leaders that, without production cuts, there would be no way to prevent the U.S. Congress from imposing restrictions that might lead to the withdrawal of U.S. forces. Quote, it is reported that Trump, in his response to the agency's question whether he had told the Crown Prince that the United States may withdraw its forces from Saudi Arabia, said that he should not have told him.